What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk about the opening scene for Season 4 when you first launch the game. You will get this little opening video that plays, and there's one part in particular I wanted to discuss today that seems to be hinting at the fact that we might be seeing a brand new Battle Royale map. Not just an update to Verdansk, which is the current map that we're playing on, but a brand new one. Now just a heads up, I am pre-recording this video since I'm going on a road trip for a week, so I had to pre-record a bunch of stuff, so perhaps by the time this actually goes live, there will be more information or confirmation. And if there is, I'll try to leave that information in a pinned comment down below. So let me just play that quick clip for you guys so you know what we're talking about throughout this video. Pinzel says there's still a hidden world here and plans to use it. It's a bloody powder keg. All right, so as you can see, Price is looking at this map here that shows Verdansk, which we all know that is the current Battle Royale map. And as it zooms out, you can see the other location, which is Urzikstan. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard of Urzikstan. It has been shown on the map like this in a previous Spec Ops trailer or loading screen, for instance. So it's not necessarily new. It's more so that it seems like they're putting focus on it within this little cinematic. So immediately, the first time I saw this, this seems very likely that they're teasing a new map. Now, as far as details on this map, it's really just going to be speculation. The first thing I noticed while looking at this is it looks like it could be more of a coastal desert themed map compared to what we're seeing in Verdansk. Although at the same time, looking at this map doesn't seem to be all that accurate anyways, because on Verdansk, it does appear that we are on a coast. And as far as we can see on this map, it's not exactly on the coast. There is a lake kind of nearby, but that doesn't really line up with what we actually see within the map Verdansk. But at the same time, we don't really have a lot to go on for this new map, so at least that's what I'm picturing in my mind is more of a coastal desert theme sort of a map. And also, we might get a bit of an indication of the scale of this map as well. It looks like it could be a much smaller map than Verdansk. Again, I'm not too sure how much we can actually trust the map itself, but that's all we've got to go off of. Now, as far as the implementation of this potential new map, I think this could go a few different ways. One route they might be taking that would make sense if this is in fact a significantly smaller map than Verdansk is basically the route that Blackout took last year where they added the Alcatraz map. So they had the regular Blackout Battle Royale map and then they brought Alcatraz in as that super small fast paced Battle Royale for a complete change of pace and a lot of people really loved that. They actually preferred that over the base Blackout map. So perhaps we're going to be seeing something similar here where we have a significantly smaller Battle Royale map that we can drop into to change up the pace and everything. Or another potential route that could be taking is maybe Verdansk is actually going to be full on nuked and completely destroyed and everything's just going to migrate over to this new map. So Verdansk will be no more. And that one kind of seems to align with what's going on story-wise with all the narrative stuff they've been doing where there's a nuke in Verdansk. And realistically speaking, if that nuke were to go off in Verdansk, it likely wouldn't be an inhabitable place. And therefore the fight would have to migrate to a completely different city or a completely different region. Now this one, I don't know how popular that would be because I know Verdansk is quite a popular map for a lot of people. They really enjoy it. I think it's a great Battle Royale map. As much as I feel it's getting a little bit stale, I think it's a great map. And I was kind of hoping to see it evolve over time like we tend to see with most Battle Royale games. So personally, I'm kind of hoping this isn't the case. I hope we aren't just migrating over and we'll never be able to play Verdansk again. But this leaves us with another potential option. Maybe we're just going to have multiple maps and the matchmaking will put you on one of the two different maps and maybe even more in the future. I personally think this would be the best route to take. Maybe they could have a map filter as well. So by default, if you search for a game in Battle Royale or Plunder, it will just pick one of these two maps. Like whichever lobby just happens to have available spots with a good connection, it just throws you into that. And therefore you would get a mix of the two different maps over time or have that option to deselect one of the maps so then you only play the other one if that's the one you prefer. Like I said, I feel like this would be the best option because it would give the most player choice. This is something that really frustrated me with Apex Legends, for instance. When the new map came out, I really liked the original Kings Canyon. I was really into that map, and as soon as the new one came out, I just didn't enjoy it as much, and at the time, there was no way of going back to Kings Canyon. And that was actually one of the reasons that I ended up fading away from Apex and just stopped playing it completely. So personally, if they do have two active maps at the same time for Warzone, I would love to see a map filter option for that. But with that, that's pretty much all I've got for you in today's video. I know it's just a lot of speculation and everything, but it does seem pretty clear that they're trying to hint at something 
And that something definitely seems to be a brand new map for Warzone. Of course, though, I am interested in hearing your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. First up, do you think this is right? Do you think that's what they're actually doing with this cinematic, is teasing a brand new map in Urzikstan? Or do you think it's something completely different? Also, if it is a new map, how would you like it to be implemented? Would you like to have the choice between Verdansk or Urzikstan? Or would you prefer it if Verdansk just got completely nuked and we couldn't play it anymore? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.